In February of 2022, my 18-year-old son was involved in a ski accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. He was preparing for graduation from high school. He had a full ride golf scholarship to go play college golf. And I remember being in the surgical waiting room while they were performing the surgery and begging and pleading with the Lord to make my boy whole. And, and I had this impression come over me that as much as I love him, he loves him more. And I right then knew that everything was gonna be okay. I had this calmness come over me that I knew that no matter if he were ever to walk again, Max was gonna be okay. As a family, we, we never once asked the question, why Max or why our family? It was from the very beginning, what can we learn from this trial and how are we gonna be strengthened? And I think once we were able to do that and truly turn this trial over to the Lord, um, we were able to apply the atonement every day in our lives. And it's a very sacred, beautiful thing to experience the atonement every day in your life. And with that, you instantly feel peace and comfort and you feel, you know, a healing process come over you. It's, it's been a, the most wonderful, miserable thing we've ever gone through is the best way to describe it. So. Dan, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I agree, uh, <laughs> right? Of course, I agree. That's, that's, a, that's a perfect thought. answer. Absolutely. And in fact, what I, the only thing I really could add to that is maybe a little bit of sc a scripture that goes with okay. this. And so when I think of miracles, I often, now I should, I should preface this by saying this is my reading of it. But in John chapter six, this is the account of Christ feeding the 5,000 and then the bread of life sermon that comes the next day. Mm -hmm. And that's where I kind of want to pick up on. He's going to the heart of why they're there. He says, Jesus answered them, said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me, not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. It's, it's, it's him almost seems to be suggesting the feeding of the 5,000, the feeding of you guys miraculously, that wasn't the miracle. You missed the miracle. You're just here because I fed you miraculously. Which, which then leads to, what's, what's the, the miracle? miracle? And that's what he goes into his description of I'm the bread of life and, right. and develops this further how he's sent from the God and, and God wants you to have this message. So, and, but he never does in the rest of the chapter ever tell you exactly what he meant by miracle. But the rest of the context suggests what was the miracle? Me. Yeah. yeah. Right? I was with you. That's the, that's the miracle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of back to what I just said with, uh, with the healing. Spiritual healing is his primary mm -hmm goal. The, the, the physical healing, the stuff that we go, oh, that's a miracle. He looks and goes, yeah, you're, it's great. But the real miracle is that I forgave you of sin and you're whole. That's the real miracle, yeah. right? And so, yeah. and that's exactly what you just got done describing is your boy that, yeah, it'd be great if he's physically healed, right. but that's not the miracle. Right. The miracle is that he's found Christ yeah. and he's led others to Christ. Everything else is secondary. Mm -hmm.